Welcome folks, I would like to provide you with a very quick tutorial on how to use ORCAD B-SPICE to simulate resistive circuits. So this tutorial can be uh, useful to verify your solution to some of the circuit problems that you can have when you take the introductory to circuit theory course uh, in engineering programs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the ORCAD capture and I'm going to uh, start uh, the program, the ORCAD capture uh, CIS. And then I'm going to start a new project. So I will come to file. And then on file we will go new. And then I will start a new project. And I want to make sure that I'm using the BSPICE analog or mixed AD that stands for analog to digital option. Many people will use schematic and if you use schematic that's basically to draw a circuit but not to simulate it. You want it to use B-SPICE analog simulation tool. So make sure you use this option. I'm gonna give it a, a name like for example resistive uh, underscore example one. Uh, any name will do. I just uh, has a descriptive name here. So I'm going to click OK. Make sure that you create blank project. And then I'm going to do that. And then now we have blank project. And the first thing I'm going to do in this particular uh, tutorial is to show you a two voltage source circuit with a bunch of resistors. And basically, we just going to have a basic uh, analysis to give us uh, the solution to uh, the problems and we can uh, see that how simple and easy that can be done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add basically two DC voltage sources. So I will write V uh, DC. So what I did, I came here and I clicked on uh, place parts and then I made sure that to do VDC, make sure that you have those libraries already installed. Uh, already added to your parts. So I'm going to place VDC and this will be my first voltage source and this is going to be my second voltage source here. So the first voltage source I will give it a value of 10 for example. So those uh, values can be basically the same as what you have in your uh, uh, for example homework problem that you're trying to verify and solve for. The second voltage source, I can make it 15 volts. And I'm going to right click on this voltage source. Uh, so I'm going to choose this voltage source, right click. And I'm going to mirror horizontally. Basically, I will make the voltage source read outside. You don't have to do it. I just did it here. And then, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bunch of resistors. So I will have, uh, I'll come to parts and I will write R. It's under the analog library. So I'm going to place a bunch of resistors. So I will place a resistor here, another resistor here, another resistor here, another resistor here. Now I'm going to basically click on the letter R. By clicking on the letter R, you can see the resistor has been rotated. It's rotation, basically, shortcut for rotation. I'm going to add a resistor here, a resistor here, a resistor here. Now I'm going to basically wire all those resistors uh, with the voltage sources. So I'm going to basically wire this voltage source to this resistor, this resistor to that, and then this resistor to this. I'll do escape here. Choose wire again. Do wire this to that. So I will wire basically each resistor as needed. So you can see that this circuit can't be solved as easily, right? If you're going to use nodal or mesh analysis, you have bunch of nodes and bunch of uh, meshes. So the nodal and mesh analysis here is not that simple because the circuit look a little bit complicated. Uh, and then I'm going to add the ground. So this is the symbol for the ground. I'm going to use the capsis uh, ground. That's the one you need to use. Uh, so this is the circuit completed. I have 10 volts here. I can change the value of the resistors if I want it. So I can make this, for example, to be 10k ohm resistor. I can make this to be 500 ohm resistor. I'm just playing with those resistors. I don't have to change them here. I'm just showing you how to simulate the circuit. So this is a very simple circuit that we have. 
and now we want to simulate it so to simulate the circuit I'm gonna come to this icon it says a new simulation profile click on that and then I'm going to uh, give it a name so I will call it sim1 this is the name I usually use for every new project I create I say create and I should have a window pops up so when the window pops up I have a time domain type of analysis I just need the general setting that's all what I need so this is all what I have here and then I'm gonna do apply then OK so it's done and now if I wanted to f evaluate the voltage at every node here there is an, an option that says that enable bias voltage display that basically will display the voltage at every node right? so I'm gonna click on that and then now I'm ready to simulate the simulation will be super quick because there is only one point this is a DC circuit right there is nothing no dynamics no frequency response nothing it's just a basic DC circuit so I'm gonna click on uh, simulate it runs the simulation basically evaluates the system okay so let me zoom in and then now I'm gonna zoom in so I'm gonna click on zoom all and then I can even zoom into this area a little bit more and I'm gonna select this region so now I zoomed into this region and now I'll be able to read what's the values so it show you at this node the voltage was 10 volts at this node the voltage is 1.855 volts at this node the voltage is 2.376 node uh, volts uh, at this node the voltage is 5.792 volts and at this node the voltage is 15 volt so you can see that basically I was able to solve for the voltages by simulation very quickly for the simple circuit now I'm gonna make the voltages disappear I'm gonna click again on the voltages I'm gonna click here on the currents and this will give me the currents so you can see that the current cone through here gonna be basically uh, uh, 0.814 milliamp which is 814.5 microamp the current coming through here is going to be uh, 1.855 milliamp. The current going through here in this direction, in this direction, is going to be 1.4 uh, milliamp. So this current plus that current will equal to this current. Over here, we're going to have a current going down will equal to 2.3 milliamp. Uh, over here, the current going in this direction, so it's going to the left basically, will equal to 3.4 milliamp. The current coming down will be 5.79 milliamp. The current coming from here will be uh, 9.2 milliamp. And the current going down this way will be 9.2 milliamp. So I was able to read all the voltages and the currents. We call those values our DC biases. So in later electronics, we call them DC biases. You can do the same thing with power. So I'm going to turn off the currents here. I'm going to do the power and it shows me what's the power have been absorbed by each element. Now the convention is to say that the delivering power is a negative absorbing power. So this 10 volts is uh, basically delivering 8.14 milliwatt or absorbing negative 8.14 milliwatts. The same thing with this voltage source. It is basically delivering 138 milliwatts or absorbing negative 138 milliwatts of course resistors are always absorbing power so that's what we have so in uh, summary all what we did here is we were able to draw a complex circuit like this with one two three four meshes or one two three four five nodes with the three unknown nodes and I was able to solve for the voltage, the current, and the power very quickly, very easily, without doing any calculations. I hope this will help, and thank you for watching this video. Uh, good luck to you.